right, Meg, I am going to use this skin prep gel. Okay. It should feel a little bit gritty. And what it is, is it is cleaning off makeup, dirt, oil, skin, whatever we need to get out of the way so that we can get good connectivity and good uh, connection and ability to read the electrical activity. I'm gonna also do a funny ear massage <laughs> with the skin prep gel. And we're just gonna clean the surface of your ears. You don't have very large ears, so I might actually clip up here. Okay. If that's okay no, with you. So I'm gonna clean the top of your ear too. I'm gonna to slide this cap on. And when I slide this cap on, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have you hold right here. Right in the front there, just hold it in place. And I will slide lean forward just a little bit. And I'm gonna slide the wrist just over your head like that. It should be snug but not uncomfortable. Yeah, that's... We want this cap to fit snugly so that all of the electrodes press to your scalp as well as we can, but then we also want them to be in the right placement. So if it's too tight, they might sit in the wrong place. So these ear clips, you can see, look like an earring an old woman might have. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put some gel in them right here all with right. this blunt syringe. And then I'm going to place this electrode on your ear. We'll try down here first. Yeah, I think that'll work. That doesn't hurt? Does that mm -mm, feel okay? It feels great. And then I'm going to pull it down over it just like All that. Right. I'm going to take the non-sharp end of mm -hmm. this toothpick and I'm going to use it with the skin prep gel okay. just to move a little of the hair out of the way oh, yeah. to be able to reach your scalp and then move anything off the scalp a little bit that might be getting in the way of connection. Okay. Then I'm going to take, again, the blunt syringe not sharp. I'm going to stick it right in the electrode here and fill this one up with gel. All right. And what we should see is those little ear bobs on the side there, the little circles that are representing your ears there, yeah. should move into a range below 10, below 5, that's what we're aiming at, um, so white uh, numbers. And what that is, is it is impedance. Okay. Impedance is exactly what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. Impedance is the amount that is impeding the electrical signal. We want it to be as low as possible so that we can get a good signal. Great. And once okay. those start going down into like white zone, below 10, below five, uh -huh. you should see individual little lines populating up over here. So right here, each of these numbers represents one of these spots, uh -huh. which is one of the electrode spots on your head. And so you'll see, we'll start to be able to read the electrical activity at each location. Cool. Really the main thing that's gonna take time today is we're gonna have each of these little spots, we're gonna to have to do the same thing. Oh, gotcha. So I'm gonna use the toothpick, and then I'm going to use the electro gel and just get it so that we get our numbers down, we're able to see what's happening in your head. Very cool. Do hand you these cotton balls. Okay. I'm going to have you put the cotton balls over your eyelids. Okay. And the reason we do that is because when we have our eyes closed, whether we realize it or not, we end up moving our eyes side to side or up and down, and we have eye movement. Okay. And so, by putting these over, and then I will use this gauze okay. to wrap it into place and put a little bit of pressure on your eyeballs. Oh, that feels nice. yeah. And really, for the next 10 minutes, you just get to. I, most people, I give a little bit of instruction, like, hey, would you. Like if you need to focus on something, you can focus on your breath or if you want to think about something pleasant, but really your goal is to just sit back and relax. I do want you to give me one good yawn, like stretch out your jaw a little bit mm -hmm. and then let it fall kind of normally back into place. Take a deep breath, shake out any tension that you're feeling in your shoulders and neck, mm -hmm. and then we're just going to sit still. Is that everything mostly comfortable? Yeah. All right. Then we're going to start in three, two, one, recording. Grab these off your eyeballs. If you need a minute for your eyes to recover, um, often people do. Um, Often people take just a minute to let their eyes recover, or if you have any cotton balls or anything on your eyelashes, sometimes that happens to people. So this next part, I have a really fancy dot. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna place it right here. Is that sort of right in the middle of your line of vision? Yes. Okay. 
Um, for the next part, we are going to do sort of a staring contest. Um, for the staring contest, you don't have to keep your eyes open the entire time. Okay. What you can do is sort of have um, barely open or half moon eyes, you know, where you just sort of barely are looking out so that you don't have to blink quite as often. But you remember earlier when we made the screen do all of the funny shapes? Um, we want there to be as little movement as possible. Mm -hmm. And so I'm actually going to have you uncross your legs oh, again. Sorry. No, that's not a big deal. Um, and then <laughs> it's automatic. It's automatic. automatic. Yeah. Um, so you are not going to be able to have your eyes open for five straight minutes. And so you will need to blink along the way. We can take chunks of time that have good data and then cut out the parts where you've been blinking. Okay. So I expect you to blink. Um, what I want, though, is for you to see if you can give me like 15, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, where you are able to hold your eyes open and stare at a single location again, because sideways movement is going to be the same. Okay. 